everyone and welcome to this week's video. This week's video isn't massively special, I thought I'd showcase some of the illustrative story books that I have been really inspired by lately while I've been working on my comic series Plant Witch. Sneaky peeks! <laughs> um, I've been a little bit busy this week working on a friend's Kickstarter with them um, for their Kingdom Hearts tea and I've been working on the art for the Kingdom Hearts teas which I'll leave a link to down below if you're interested in checking that out. Um, so I didn't really have time to draw anything this week because I've been very, very busy. But this is very relevant to what I am working on now. Um, I, as you know, I've been working on and off my Plants uh, Witch series for uh, the last last year and it's very important that research is such a huge part of it for me it's always important to understand the current market that you are working with and the market that you are working with to be able to apply that to your work so i thought i'd showcase some of the books that i've been using to inspire my work that i've been using at the moment for the full list of books will be listed down below if you are interested in checking them out as well as amazon affiliate links as well so the first book here is send it's a classic story uh, book, but this one's illustrated by an artist called Lorena Al Alvarez. I think I'm saying that correctly. It's just really beautifully illustrated. Um, I actually picked this up from the works and when it was free for five pounds on some of these children's story books. And I've been picking up a lot of research material as I've been working on my stuff because I am inspired by a lot of older children's illustrators. So I'm really inspired by Arthur Rackham and um, his work in particular, John Tenniel, his work um, just really inspires my stuff and uh, it's always important to understand the current market that you're going into to have a look at hey what's out there and what's the current trend. A trend that I found with story children's books at the moment has been a very comic-y sort of style um, and very illustrative style. This book is Leaf by Sandra. Sandra, I'm going to say this name completely incorrectly. Um, this is Sandra D Dykeman, I think you say that. I do apologise if I uh, mispronounce this. Um, but this work, when I picked this book up, it is just beautiful. One of the trends I'm noticing at the first front is that they have a really nice um, illustrative border before you go in. So you open the book, there's a really beautiful pattern. And then the next page, and there's some, most of these books have really beautiful, big illustrative pieces. And then there's some spot illustrations. So when I've been looking into doing my own children's storybook, I'm looking into what's already out there in the market and how can I apply that to my work. You'll notice also as well that this text in the illustrations almost like comic book style and this is very common among quite a few books but this really caught my eye because it just looks very beautiful and traditional and the colors are really nice um especially this like full page illustrations as well um personally one of my favorite book companies is flying I books. I absolutely love a lot of the books that they publish. Um, they tend to be very beautiful and very illustrated. This next one is Arthur and the Golden Rope. I really like this book. It is so colourful. And it's going back again to sometimes it's spot illustrations, sometimes it's massive, um, beautiful illustrations. And these books have been really inspiring me to think outside of the box when it comes to comics and children's illustrations that they can be combined it's not something that has to be separate but I will say like the thing that really really caught my eye with this is where on the first page when you open it they they have this gorgeous like beautifully detailed illustrated map and it was just like something out of a Lord of the Rings book and I just thought that was beautiful. The character designs are really, really nice and the story is really cute as well. I really love the publisher that does a lot of these books, the Flying Eye books. Um, in particular, they just, they tend to have some of my more favorite illustrative styles among there. This next one isn't really a children's storybook, but I have to recommend it. This is Beautiful Darkness. Um, this is the first edition print. I believe there is a second edition print that's come out with some improved artwork in there. Um, this 
This book is amazing. It's a mixture of comic and um, illustrative styles of work and each panel is just such a delight to look at. Um, the contrasting colours is really nice. It shows this changing seasons beautifully. Um, it's a very dark subject that's in Eternal Darkness but it is also possibly one of the most beautiful comics I have ever ever read slash uh, illustrative stories um i do do recommend this uh, like i said it is a little bit of a uh, i would say aimed more at the older audience but it is a really really beautiful book and it's just stunning i can't can't stop looking at it and you guys may recognize this this is hilda i love the Hilda books. Um, I actually got these for Christmas from my partner because I was really really wanted them and he picked them up for me for Christmas and yet again this is published by the Flying Guy books. As I said it's possibly one of my favourite publishers to date at this point. Um, this is a currently a Netflix series which I really do recommend. It's a fantastic little animated series but yet again this is going within the style of children's books aren't just children's books anymore now this is aimed at a slightly older uh child so this is aimed at a slightly older audience um not quite a young young audience you tend to find with the younger audience it uh it tends to be very simple illustrations and words whereas you tend to find like the between the 8 to 14 market they have like a very comic book style um or very illustrative style at the moment it is something that i particularly have enjoyed because as a person who likes to collect beautiful books or likes to collect wonderful material this is stuff that draws my eye to it not only as an older audience but i've noticed that children really love the illustrations now this is one i had to add to my collection uh, this is by dina norland um i actually back to the kickstarter quite a while ago and this arrived and it is possibly one of the most beautiful illustrated books that are out there uh, dina is a fellow youtuber um, she's absolutely wonderful if you don't know about the channel i do recommend checking it out and gray legs is really really beautiful uh, i know for a fact that she illustrated all the lines by hand and then digitally colored all of this and her use of color is absolutely astounding within this it's yet again that mixture of a comic book key style illustrative story you are telling a story but you are also emoting through the characters to be able to tell that and that spark gloss on that cover which is another thing that i have noticed is a big trend within books they have like spot glosses on the titles and the characters or certain areas that they want to pop out and it's just absolutely stunning dina did a really beautiful job on this uh this other one is called the secret of the black rock now this is absolutely beautiful um yet again flying guy books uh, i can't stop recommending flying eye books enough they just tend to have some of the most beautiful illustrative work in their roster and um, they do tend to hire very amazing illustrators now the reason why i particularly love this one is um it has a very muted palette uh, all the way through but the characters tend to have a slightly warmer palette and there is just some beautiful this image in particular is absolutely gorgeous i love this like juxtaposition of like the character being quite bright and the background and the foreground and the rest of it being quite dull i love that sort of aspect it's just it's really really pretty and it's a very cute storybook as well i have to recommend that so next one in here is the dragon tea society or the tea dragon society i said that the wrong way um this is by katie o'neill i've realized i've not been pronouncing everyone's names i do apologize but the full list of books are down below and this is oh it's so beautiful i do recommend this as well yes again this is a mixture of it's a comic book um but the each panel is just so so beautiful and yet again this is aiming comic books at a younger audience a lot of people teams seem to think that comic books um in particular more sophisticated comic books are for older audiences but this just proves that the market has really changed over the years um i find that because a lot of us who grew up grew up have um now 
doing doing all this work that's out there it is just i find i love the fact that the this is becoming more mainstream that comics have become more mainstream it just is so it's just so nice to see this one is The Little Gardener by Emily Hughes. Now, the reason why I picked this up is because the colours just drew me in straight away, especially the fact that the character really stood out against the green. I picked it up and I had a flick, flick through and my heart was sold. It has such a beautiful illustrative style all the way through. Um, like The colours are just really nice. There's some really nice muted tones against some very vibrant tones as well. And it's just, it's very it's not only beautiful to read but it's very appealing to look at and I just I love that so much I just think it's like any kid reading this would be just enchanted by the drawing and they'd be able to just see more and more I love drawings where I look at it and again and again each time I'm looking at it there's something different there it is just it's it's really nice to see and it's the small details that really can interest and intrigue and mind so this book is possibly one of my favorites uh this is nightlights um and i absolutely love this book the colors in here are so astounding that it's very very inspirational now a lot of people don't pick up children's storybooks but there are some absolutely stunning a lot a lot of illustrators out there are amazing but this one in particular, my heart was sold on. Not only is the illustration beautiful, it's a com yet again, it's a comic storybook hybrid where you have some beautiful big illustrative pieces and a comic book all the way through. And this has really inspired me with the way that I would love to do Plant Witch and the way I would love to do Mushroom Hunters in the future. But these pages are just, they're amazing. It switches between like a dream world and a reality world and the reality world tends to have the muted tones and the dream world has this gorgeous like vibrant colors and it is honestly out of any any of the books i have this one oh just the panels each panel is just i can't i can't describe this enough if you do out of any of these books to pick up just for inspiration this is one of the ones i do recommend because it, it is absolutely amazing there are hundreds and hundreds of amazing children's illustrators out there and a lot of amazing books out there i wish i could have them all in my collection um because i have quite a few art books and i have quite a few books and i there's a lot more that i would love to add to my collection but these are the current ones that i have some of these have been gifted some of them i have collected over the years and I'm really lucky to have the collection that I do because I've been collecting for so long. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different than normal, but I can't recommend any of these books more than I do. I just think they are all phenomenal and all very inspirational in each way. And I think that sometimes children's illustration does get overlooked, but there are some amazing illustrative pieces of work there. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment below what your favorite illustrative book is, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. And as always, stay creative.